You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. And what happened to your leg? I know, my dog, Donnell Rollins, man. First off, you get a snap. Are you trying to get a tattoo? If you can see, if you can see. What happened to your leg? I got a sports injury, son. Y'all don't follow Donnell on social media to know what happened? I got a sports injury. What happened? It happens. What happened to me is what happens to a lot of African-American, middle-aged African-Americans when you're in the backyard barbecue and somebody lowered a rim to eight feet. Oh, okay, okay. Once, you gotta practice. Once you lower the rim to you eight feet, you, you start having flashbacks yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. And the unfortunate situation for me, like two weeks before this incident, I had stopped past a friend's house and a little twelve year old son, he had like a, a, a basketball rim and he lowered it and I was dunking it alley oop and I put it on Instagram. I saw that on your gram. I, I, I put it on Instagram, mm-hmm. I made a little video about it. So cut two, three weeks later, I they pulled another rim out. They dropped it to eight feet. And they came, they, all the little kids were like, oh, we saw you on Instagram. What you going to do this time, old man? I was like, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to go up. I'm going to do a 360. Mm. I said, I'm going to bang it on the way down. Then I had a little rag on my shoulder. I said, I'm going to wipe my face. I'm going to be in the camera like, ah. All I remember before I saw the sun was I went up playing basketball. When I came down, it felt like I was on a football field. Mm. I heard, like, you, they always say on a knee injury, you hear, like, a loud pow. It was like, right. pow! I thought I was at a at a protest rally. I didn't know what happened. I was, <laughs> look, I was, on, I was on the concrete. I thought I was on grass. Not a football injury. I didn't have a helmet or a chin strap on. And you know when you get a knee injury, first thing you do is rip your helmet off right, right, your right. chin strap. It was it an was imaginary, imaginary helmet. I ripped it off and cut to, uh, I tore my patella. Mm. I don't even know. Patilla, where that's at? It's inside your knee. Like, you got injuries in your knee. Like, ACL is the gangster injury. Okay. Right. You know, when you see somebody like, oh, son, that's an ACL. I tore my ACL. But, yeah, I tore my, I ripped my ACL. Patilla is more like the gay knee injury. <laughs> okay. Because it's so, like, oh, I see you hurt your patella. I, I see you hurt your patella. Yeah. You know, it's the, it's the tendon that holds your, that makes your knee do like this. Oh. So your knee you can't know, bend right now? It can bend a little bit. I'm like three weeks in now, but when I after I had the surgery, I had to, you know, you my, get surgery? Yeah, I had to, you can't you you pop a tendon, son. You I'd have been that old dude. You know the old dude neighbor, he like, why he walked like that? Cause he didn't get his patilla. I fixed. felt bad that I didn't check on Danielle because I No, nah, you didn't you like it on everybody pages. I just Look, I got an injury. I'm in the hospital. She didn't like or nothing. She's like, how's Austin doing? I didn't know if you was really hurt, man. Damn. You can never tell what you're And you, I said, who double clicks on an injury? No, you should I mean, I'm not going to like an injury. Why but, would I like that you got injured? But likes don't necessarily represent you like something. Like the it's fact acknowledging. That you got hurt. It's, it's the same as saying, oh, something happened to him. But after I had my. Uh, my my post visit after surgery, I asked the doctor. I said, "What you do? Because you never really know what they do until it's over." And he was like, "Yeah, when I went inside your kneecap, on the inside it was shredded." Ooh. And he said it looked like a bomb exploded in your knee. And I was like, "So that explains wow. the gunshot that I heard." Oh, the popping sound. The popping yeah, noise. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was so hard. Are you gonna That's play pe- basketball when you recover again? You know, I was one of the most highly recruited uh, over forty players in the nation, <laughs> but now it's kind of. I feel like one of them athletes that go play ball in Europe or whatever. Yeah. If it wasn't for my knee. You know what I'm saying? I'll still be out there. But I think this is going to put me in retirement. Now, right? when you play, you do you retire. scream out players' names? Do you be like, Dominique? And the young boys be like, who are you talking about? Nah, and that's a horrible reference. I don't think anybody's <laughs> listening. Dominique remember Wilkins? The, I know they remember. I know they remember. I know they remember it, but they remember they, they, remember they get that. Yeah, that's, nah, I don't do that. Dominique was fire. I do. I shoot. I, from, I shoot from the perimeter. I'm like, Ash. Do you that's have what the I do. gear for it? Like a nice, nice, you know, basketball outfits that match and everything? No, nah, I don't what do anything. Mean? In fact, when I went out, I think I had flip flops when I went for the <laughs> oh, duck. There it so is. maybe that was That's the reason the why right did I, I I crashed it. But I'm all right now. I'm getting better. Right, congratulations! We forgot to congratulate him. On what? You know, Kevin Hart started his own oh, right. network and he gave you his, your own show. We heard he gave Gerald Kelly his own on show and gave you your own show. He said he nah, picked I'm the 20 top comedians. That was hot about right. that, but you wasn't on that list. They had the 20 hottest comedians. Gerald Kelly was up here yesterday. He showed it to us. And it was like Gerald Kelly, even T.K. Kirkland was on there. And I'm like, where Donnell? No, Donnell wasn't on it. No, he wasn't on Shut that list. No. Yeah, you know that might have been you bullish. And you, you might that might have been that might. Have been, I mean, I mean, if you if you just do all the urban comics, but you know, <laughs> I, I I consider myself to be uh, one of the top mainstream comics that go. are able to perform at a Trump rally and a Black Lives. Black Lives Matter rally okay. at the same time. Get, but, the same list, but the list was yeah. provided by Kevin Hart and his people, which I thought was crazy. They, I'm like, how you admit Donnell? No, I just got a call. Um, the, uh, 
Kevin's uh, business manager, Pookie Wigginton. Oh, so he did call you. Yeah, he called me the other day. But the only thing he asked me would I would consider it. But you know, with me having a brace on my leg now, I was like, what's it going to be the uh, what's going to be the title of my special? Brace yourself. <laughs> See that you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, I might have to fight. wait. I might have to wait. Yeah, I think it's a great format. Like uh, Kevin's about to be like the Netflix of comedy. Right. Yeah. I think they did. They chose like 20 comedies, you know, and he gave me like two days to decide if I would be. Uh, physically capable of doing so it. So they did call you? Yeah, of course they did. Right. made a joke. He didn't. He thought they didn't, so he no, was just saying I, I, that Chalamet I'm pretty sure he did, but I was thinking that you didn't get the call yet. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I'm, not, I'm nice, huh? Yeah. You put me, <laughs> up against, that, they put me up against anybody yeah. on that list, it's going to be the same. Gerald Kelly said that him and Tony Robbins are the funniest uh, stand-ups out right now. First off, when you're one of the funniest comics, you don't tell people that. You let the, the fans <laughs> tell you that. Okay, you know what I'm okay, saying? okay. You know what I'm saying? I could say I'm the most dunking, jumping this dude, but my knee tells me something <laughs> different. You know what I'm saying? So I I, 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 I never I never make those claims or whatever, but you, you know, let I let my fans. Judge, yeah, right? I let other people judge me. Yeah. Now, congratulations on your reality show. Thank also. you, I appreciate you it. Got a reality reality show? Show? Yeah, but it's a different. It was a it was a popular show in Korea, like three. Well, it's it's, it's <laughs> no. Let me explain. Let me just give me. Tell us about it. Let me explain. For all my Don't Korean, Don't Don't for, Don't Don't for, let's for, go. for all my Korean fans out there, any ASEO, they got young name. Uh, they got young name Doctor K. Out of so, that's you know, this is Donnell. I'm very smart. You know, I speak. I'm kind of like bilingual. There you go. Enough of me not to get gypped into like uh eating dog, and I get a fair price on women that solicit their service. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. But it was a popular show in Korea where they take two celebrity dads, three celebrity dads, and they leave them with their kids. Uh, three celebrity for, what? Three yes. celebrity dads. dads. They okay. leave them with their kids for 48 hours at a time with no assistance from mom just to see if you're going to break down. How see. old are the kids? The, well, my son is the youngest, but uh, DJ Scribbles, um, he's part of the show. His kid, He has three kids. I think they're like 13. I think he got a gang, like, like a squad like you, son. Mm-hmm. Um, DJ Scribbles, then this guy Danny, he's a soap, soap opera star. His kids are ages from 10 to 14. Austin is the youngest. You know, and then when I. So where the celebrities at on this show? <laughs> <laughs> if you have an issue of identifying if I'm a celebrity, I Google, that's Donnell Rollins. <laughs> Donnell Rollins, some other things might show up, but we're going to dismiss all this hate over <laughs> here, son. Yeah, but I see why TMZ. people feel disrespected hey, hey, over here, son. Embrace the hate. Embrace the hate. Right. No, so but guys, it's on. Um, so, how, so, how'd you do? Um, I did good. I, I I didn't think that I was gonna have an issue. I think I'm a good dad. I'm I'm excited about being a dad. But the only issue that I thought I was gonna have was that uh, you know, my lady she still breastfeeds Austin. So I thought that if there was any gonna be any challenge in time, right? That's that's when he was feeding for the breast. Cause there's nothing I can provide or produce that's nope. gonna compete with the breast. When it comes to kids to get their attention, the only thing that can compete with uh, breast milk is probably a French fry. A French fry yeah. is equivalent to having a breast. A french fry would just distract you from anything. But Is he running I up think, on other titties yet? Huh? We we, we had one one scene where we went to a, a mommy Pilates class uh-huh. and my son is not used to being around a lot of kids. So mm-hmm. the first thing he was doing, he was trying to rough house the kids. He's trying to pick them up. He's yeah. still in he's still in formula out of other people's bag or whatever. But you know, I think we it comes out in November. We fare well. It was good. It was a good good time. And such a cute young man, Austin. Thank you. And uh, the way you say that is like I don't know. He didn't get it from me yeah, that, that's at just, all. Like, that's so not disrespectful. Like his dad, but he's such a cute. But guy. thank you, know, you Stephanie, because no. It but the funny thing, left. the funny thing about it is when I'm around people, they look at him and like. This your kid? <laughs> I'm like y'all are so disrespectful. And then it doesn't help that like I'm an older dad. Like he, my son just had his first birthday party like two months ago, right? Yeah. And the, the funniest thing is me to get kids to come. I was calling my man's and I'm like, yo, you think your son could uh, come to my son's first birthday? It was like if he could get off work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yo, yo, huh? Yeah, they're older. They're older. So old. I was like, well, son, you think your son could bring his son to my party, son? So why, why it take so long? Why did it take so long for you to have kids? I know you was having sex wrong. No, nah, I wasn't. I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, into into doing that. You know, what I'm saying right. too many things. Wasn't into having sex. No, not and not, <laughs> not 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 just just to blasting off in anybody. You, you know. Come on, Don. And then he, 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 he was more of an anal guy, from what I hear. Oh, okay. Before see, this, yeah, this is so disrespectful. <laughs> I know y'all do a lot of <laughs> butt jokes in here, so I'm not gonna be. <laughs> I'm not gonna be no part. <laughs> I'm not gonna embrace the butt jokes. <laughs> I can tell you that. But, you know, people always say, you know, it happens when it's supposed to happen. I, I was talking to old time. He said it's better to be late to the party not invited at all. So I'm go. embracing all that and I'm enjoying yeah. it. I saw that a lot of uh, the Muslim community was upset at you. For what? Because you posted that joke about college. You posted the the, the, uh, 
The, what was he, the sniper or something? No, the bomber, the bomber. No, the bomber, the, the dude did the, the, the Jersey about... bomber did look <laughs> oh, like <God>. DJ Collins. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you know, he 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 looked like but that was the worst ISIS. I thought only the ISIS like that dude. Yeah, yeah, ISIS won't let him clean. Who get, he got caught, he didn't really nobody got blown up. His pressure cooker, see, you know he worked at a fried sh- chicken shop. So his fresh cooker went off, and had chicken wings with sauce and hot sauce and everything. Yeah. He wasn't. He didn't really represent the ISIS crew like they're supposed to. Well, I got a little game we want to play with you, Donnell. Uh-oh. Okay. And this game is called Who is Watching Austin? You got to pick out of these two people. Who would you? God is watching Austin. Listening who again, you... Austin is Donnell Rawlins' son. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather have Amber Rose or Derek Rose watch Austin? Mm. Uh, Amber Rose. Why Amber Rose? <laughs> Come on, man. Who wouldn't want her to be a nanny, sir? <laughs> You're not there. Am, am, oh. Well, nah, I mean, that's she, a she tough a, one. She's a mother, though, so she got experience in that Derek department. Derek Rose yeah. is the father. father. Yeah, but he's, uh, he's been coming up under a lot of controversial <laughs> situations. He's a, they try to say he's a rap artist. Okay. A rape artist. <laughs> he's not a rap artist. <laughs> I'm not saying those are all black allegations. Black China I mean, or black youngster? Mm. Uh, black China. That was a difficult one for you. Black youngster gonna let your He'll kid give him get some money though, right? Oh yeah, no, he can't you off. I was gonna come. I was bringing Monopoly money for you today, son. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna stick with Black China. Yeah. All right, the game or Meek Mill. Mm. Um, I probably, I think uh, I would probably have to go with game because the way Meek Mill has been out here in these streets and shit, it's I don't want my son to get beat up while he's getting watched, so I'll have to go with the game. Damn. You think it looks bad for me out here now? Huh? Yeah, it don't look good. I don't really, I ain't messing with Phil anyway after they did what they did to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I hear something out of Phil, I, like, I told y'all. Y'all thought it was just me. I told hey, y'all. Hey, you know what I told him this morning? I said, I don't trust no Philly street rapper, nah, t- t- Yo, Philly is all about, you in Philly. yo, Philly is all about <laughs> yeah, them T- TMZ funny. streets. I don't want no parts of that, son. That's funny. All right, Lil Wayne or Birdman? I'll take, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take Birdman. Why Birdman? Birdman got a higher profile. Birdman, and Birdman the keeps the game. Little Wayne? Lil yeah, Wayne I think so. Stop it. Yeah, when the last time Lil Wayne been on TV? Birdman stay on TV now. It's Lil Wayne, man. Lil Wayne is a legend. I'm old school. I'm he going with Birdman. Birdman. I'm going you with du- I'm going I'm going with dudes with gray in their chin, son. Okay. I'm going with Birdman. Lil Wayne old school too. Listen, by the way. I'm talking to all three of y'all and I'm sticking with <laughs> I'm sticking, with, I'm sticking with what I said, all three of y'all. I'm going with Birdman. Okay. Right. I ain't gonna say it no on, more. Okay. Okay. Right. Kanye West or Taylor Swift. Mm. You know I used to have a little thing for white chicks for so unfortunately. Taylor Swift, my son had a better chance of being culturally diverse, going to the, going to the farmers markets, and all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna go with Taylor Swift. You can pair Yeezys if you go with Kanye, though. I'm not really a big fan of Yeezys, son. Okay. All right, Bruce Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner? They're the same people, so either one would go. <laughs> you ain't gonna fool me with a name yeah. change. <laughs> you know, I, I'll take you with a face I, change. I, nah, I'll take Caitlyn Jenner with a penis. Caitlyn. With okay. a, with a penis. Really? And Why? Here's the, Why here's Caitlyn the last over one Bruce? I, oh. Um. I don't know, more, more of a mother, mother, motherly instinct, I guess. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. And here's the last one. This is going to be the hardest one for you. Yeah. Who is watching Austin? Dave Chappelle or August Alsina? Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> Now, Donnell has a crush on August Alcina. But Dave Chappelle. I don't have a crush on. I respect his but work as an artist, all right? I he respect August Alcina. I'll, I'll, I'll take. Mm. I'll take Dave Chappelle, but while he's watching, he got to play all of August Alcina's greatest hits. <laughs> okay, <All right>. okay, <laughs> okay. That's the way to do it. Wow, you know, that's how you do August. Yeah, yeah. I'm August, surprised Dave ain't your guy. August dissed me though. August dissed me. You traveled all the way to August London. August dissed. I went to London. I I I, to, I, to, I went to London. I talked to him. I went to London. I talked to him. He flew to New York and came to his album listening that session. Sound a little no, weird, I'm gonna tell you about that situation. This just to fuel. This just to fuel what you think my my. If Factuation with August is not that, but I will say at that listening party, this was the funniest thing oh, ever. I, didn't, I never told anybody this, but he was on a sofa. He stood up on a sofa. He wanted to address the audience, right? And he slipped, right? <laughs> and he slipped, and I'm no homo. He fell into my arms, right? <laughs> no, he slipped off the couch. Where's that picture? No, we don't have the picture, right? He stood. I was like, this, "Are you okay, right?" <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't mean to grab. I did like did. I said, oh, and I grabbed her right, and I and I pushed her back, and and you know, it's what it is. I life. love him, not love him. <laughs> Yo, no, I didn't say I love. I said 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 love. I
said love. I said I love, son. You sounded like a woman that's been caught getting beat up by her man. I said I love him. I love him. So I said L U H, love. You know, I said I love because, you know, the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Are you sure he slipped? Huh? On the couch. I don't know where I was, but I caught him. Did he say thank you at least? He he was he was like he looked at me like I was supposed to do that, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like thank you, like just like push me off. But you know what I'm saying? Like I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with saying that I love him as a love love him no. as an artist. So you flew to New York for his album? No, this is this is a story I never told you. This is a story I never told you. Uh-oh. When we when this all all this uh, these rumors went on about you know my relationship with August whatever. <laughs> I was a, what my, the my, hell? My, my, my my connection all with right. a great artist. Okay. Uh, I was in Houston at the airport and this dude came up and he was thugged out. He was like, yo, son, he said, yo, that August, I was saying, I was like, listen, don't believe anything the Breakfast Club say. He said, you know what? I feel the same way about the weekend that you feel about August. Wow. <laughs> so I got dudes telling me what their emotional connection is with Wait, artists that, that they, they, they Why they do you have an of. emotional connection with August, though? Did you conceive your album. baby the, the, the album? The, I, the, when I, the first time I ever heard August, I seen, I was in Miami. I was about to go to live. I was at a pizza shop and this song came on. I love this ish. Yeah, right? I love it. And then I, I'm going to keep on grinding because I love this and I'm going to keep on. For some reason, that that story kind of connected to me and, and Are my you grind. Cry right now? Are you? What? You're going to cry right crying. now. Are you? <laughs> Yo, y'all need to grow up, man. We're the, yo, we're in a different world, son. No, we're in a different world. Cry. Y'all need to focus on some other He's stuff, so man. Y'all need to focus on some other Shut stuff, down. man. Black Lives yo, Matter. Yo, Black Lives Matter, man. Tissue. Black R&B yo, Lives Matter. I'm at this tissue. stage of my life. I'm secure, son. Right, there you go. If I right. like somebody for what they do, I like them for what they got do. Got you, got you. You one of the best uh, DJs in the country. You I like what you do. You're not crying over him. He said you love him. I said I love you, son. I ain't going to tell August I love him in his face. Why wouldn't you? I'll say I f with you in his face. But I'm gonna say that. But I I, I like his story. If Envy you got a great, would you catch him? You got a great story, Envy. You got a great story, Q. And you got a great everybody in this room got a great story of starting somewhere, evolving into mm-hmm. something and doing well for themselves. So I love and that's it. what it's I respect. really just connected at that moment. It me. did, it did. I was like this. I start I, I even started shazamming it. I you was like, oh my God, who's song. singing this song? <laughs> and then I got connected to it. But you know, I'm in a different place now. So. What do you think of the Black Lives Matter movement? Um, I think the black I think it's important. I think the I think the Black Lives Matter movement is important. But I think for us to really uh have some change, what's gonna have to have to happen is gonna be, have to be other races that are just as upset about the situation than um than just black people. Yeah, why you, you think they're saying? not though? Why you think white people don't care sometimes? I'm not. I'm Some not white saying, people. I'm not saying they don't care. I'm. Just, I, I, what I will say is I don't think that they're getting spotlight as they used to. Like I, I I'll say it's not be honest. Like, and you know, I don't know. You can bleep it, whatever. But back in the '60s, what was worse than being called a n- in the '60s was being called a n- lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For people, their interpretation of being a n- that was one thing. You were born into that to be a, n- a lover. It was like you had choices. But I tell people that back in the '60s, during civil rights movement the civil rights movement needed your lovers because nobody's concerned about your cause until another race is upset. that is a fact mm-hmm. and another reason back in those days like who's gonna get the uh who's gonna get the marching permits yeah that's true a n- couldn't get a marching permit right. yeah. if you would have knocked on civil uh, 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 say, uh a city hall, saying now you said we, we reached the quote white people got to well, use their privilege to combat prejudice yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and just like it didn't like i think that really change is going to happen is when other people like when we have freedom fighters the same thing when those people start getting the spotlight and they saying they're just as upset as everybody else, that's when we have changed. But, you know, uh, with the Black Lives Matter, we need certain people to really be down with the revolution about making change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can be passive, we can be as peaceful. I'm not saying that I condone violence or anything like that, but certain things happen and shock people up. And I said, oh, now this is a serious issue, and then we have to make some change. What do you think about But now, but I'm gonna tell you, I, I will say this. What? That um, once I blew my knee out, I took a cabernet knee, so I, <laughs> I went right down. Oh, so you, you kneeled for the flag? I, I, I okay. kneeled for, I kneeled so for my knee. Kneel. Out. What, yeah. what do you think about stop and frisk? Um, Envy I, believes in it. I, I know Envy believes in it. I mean, 
I would believe him too after what happened to his car the other day. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I would stop and frizz anybody within a 20 feet radius. <laughs> radius. <laughs> Once when my knee went out, I wanted them to stop and frizz everybody up in that joint. I thought they brought guns in there. I think it's it's um I think it's something that would de- the reason why they don't have it now because it'll it, it it could get out of control, and it would give cops the right just to approach anybody for any any it reason. Did I think it's it did in New York. It did in New York. 90 percent of the people that were profiled were black and Hispanic. And then they got they got rid of it because they they found out that it wasn't effective yes, combating crime or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. If you if you are of, of if you have been a victim of crime or something like that, of course you're gonna uh, wish they have uh, stopped and frisked. But you know, what I'm saying I'm a person that um, is uh, is uh, in California. Mm-hmm. I'm licensed for certain products or anything. So, Marijuana. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely against stopping and frisk. You don't know what you're gonna find on me. Right. Well, you, <laughs> since we're talking about social issues, what do you think about rape? About rape? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's I think I think it's awful. I think to you know take advantage of somebody. It's 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 a, it's an awful thing. But I also think like nowadays it's like especially in entertainment, you got the case of Derrick Rose mm-hmm. and yes. like other people Bill Cosby. Where, where 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 people are accusing people yeah. of something we don't know is true or not. And I think it's unfortunate because it takes away from women in situations that people were really really victims of something. You know. Yeah. But then, it's, yeah, I agree with that because I always feel like it is really hard for people. There's a lot of women who never will come forward. Yeah, that had an instance like that happen to them. I mean, it's unfortunate. Like I think because people like don't a, believe you. That's and, the. And sometimes, unfortunately, women do lie, and then a man is branded a rapist. It's just. And it's un- and then, like I say, going back to what I said, it's unfortunate because you have a situation with some women out here that are opportunists. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they doing stuff just because, like, when you charge a celebrity for something, of, of accuse them of something. Whether they did it or not, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try to do damage control for their mm-hmm. brand. You know right. what I'm saying? So a lot of times you see stuff come to air like why they don't talk about it anymore because it's easier for, for in some certain situations, it's easier. If I look at all the money that I'm going to spend in court, it's easier for me to smash them off just to get rid of it right. than to continue to do it. So, I mean, it's, uh, at the end of the day, it's unfortunate for, for women out here that are really rape victims when you got people out here that screaming rape and it didn't really happen. You ever been accused of rape? No, I've never been accused of rape. I've, I've, if, I mean, I've, I've woke up on situations like what happened. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, so you've been, yeah. so you've been, you've been, you've been. I woke up like this, huh? and you didn't even play August, you know. <laughs> nah. How tall was he? Huh? No. Yo, I'm not going there. I'm not going there with you, son. Nah, How's I'm your not, brother, uh, by the way? My brother's my brother. What does what that, that, was That's that? nice. How do you feel about rape? How's your brother doing? <laughs> my, my brother, my brother, my my brother is is doing good. He said, "Say hello to Envy." He said, "Say hello to um, Ye." And then he didn't really say anything about Charlamagne. He's still shading me. Yeah, yeah, he moved on. Why are you shading me, man? He moved on. Like son. Funny. I was happy when he, he moved on. He asked for a T-shirt though. for him, and you wouldn't give it to him. Yeah, and then he just tried to give me a brand new out the bag. My son, my brother, wanted a sweaty T-shirt, and, mm. and Charlamagne, and that's supposed to be my man, you know. And my brother like loved you, so he loved me. Yeah, you switched Love. the game up. Damn. Yep. I even asked him because Donnell hit me like, "Can you get a sweaty T-shirt from Charlamagne?" Right. I was like, "I'll ask him, but I don't know that he'll do it." He, he wouldn't do it. Now, why'd you want to call Sean Hannity early this week, man? Because um, Donald Trump kept saying, uh, why didn't they talk to Sean yeah, Hannity? Yeah, he wanted to know why debate. nobody talked yeah. to him. Yeah. He was like, why didn't anybody why talk to Sean Hannity? Why nobody Sean Hannity? Uh, Donald Trump talked about everything but anything they were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They was like, how do you feel about foreign policy? You know, listen, my Trump water is selling. You know, he just always kept the subject. And I thought it was just funny that he kept on that. Wanting people to call Sean, like we were able to stop the debate and just call Sean Hannity. Yeah, but that was the only reason. He was trying to call a friend. That's what you do. Yeah, Donald Trump is like, I need a lifeline. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's, it's interesting because like this is the first time we have two candidates where people are gonna say, you know, I don't like her, but I really don't like him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So who the next person? One thing about uh, uh, this year's uh, this year's election is that um, whoever becomes the next president is really going to make us appreciate. And understand how much we're gonna miss President Barack. Yes, Obama. sir. Mm-hmm. You know. So now, as far as other projects that you're working on, because I know you always have something going on besides the the show on TLC. What else is going on with? Donald? Well, I had an incident that got, and this is when you just got to stay focused. Like when I, like three weeks before I had my surgery, I had a conversation with um, uh, Courtney Kemp. She's a executive executive Powell. producer of Power. You know, she's the big dog over yeah. there. She reached out to my management, and they were considering me. For, for a role that probably gave me like five or six episodes on Power. And uh, two weeks had went past and I didn't hear anything from them. I didn't know if they had went another direction. Wherever. And I was a half hour out of having surgery and my manager called me and said, 
probably wanted you to start this season next week. Damn. So it was one of those situations. It was unfortunate because, you know, with me having my son now, I want to spend more time at home. I don't want to be in the road as much. So I told myself at the beginning of the year that I need to really focus on trying to do more film and television, give myself more time to be at home. And it would have been a great reintroduction to like dramatic acting for me, but you know my injury. You lost a role on a power on power because of a goddamn pickup game done. There. I didn't. It wasn't I didn't the pickup game. No, I didn't. I didn't lose a role on power because of pickup game. I lost. I lost a role on power because God said, Donnell, this is not the right time for that. Good and and, 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 I, and I'm, I'm being honest. It. Anybody in this situation be like, I can't believe that's one of the biggest shows on TV. But you know they say everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. The fortunate situations that like she personally like sought after me for my talent. So I, I believe that I may have a future on the show somewhere, but you know, it, it's a good opportunity for whatever actor they chose to do it away from me, but I'm excited. In this business, the hardest, th- the hardest thing. <laughs> no, for real, he, yesterday, when he was here yesterday, he said he just got a roll on power. Okay. All right, anyway, <laughs> anyway, you just, this dude just don't stop, God, son. We, this dude don't we stop. We really haven't seen you since that big role you had in Spider Man, man. Uh, the huge role. You had a huge role. I've been, you know, the thing about it is, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly on television, but I've been lucky enough to have some iconic stuff that doesn't make some of the things you did look as huge as you, you're huge as it is. It's like a, a penis picture. It's, you know, you, you, <laughs> you got to get the right angle. Right, Everybody right, right. know if you were Anthony Weiner, you got to get the right angle. Right. For, for angle. For anybody who's ever sent an Anthony Weiner picture, I guess, I bet you it was 10 photos didn't make it before you got to that one. It was like, that's it. That's it. That's, now, I know, you know they couldn't rewrite that role so that the guy could have a torn, what do you have, a torn? I, no, the role was like. Patella. The, the role is. I want, the role was, it was a, it was a, it was a role that required a lot of physicality. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was no way to do that. It was, it was no way to do that. I don't really want to talk about the role because whatever actor they use, I don't want to make it sound like he got this because right. of this, you know. Yeah, but don't knock Gerald Kelly bless me, yeah. y'all, man. Y- y- y'all would be so messed now, up. Now, tell him to put his Tim's on while y'all talking. You know why? Why? Because uh, Mike Coulter is here, Oh. Um, who plays Luke Cage. And um, we thank you for coming, Donnell. Y'all, y'all, I like that. Hold on, Donnell is going to be a, <laughs> Donnell is going to be a that's, Caroline. That's my friend. No segue. So okay, and that's it. No. Donnell's going to be that's a Caroline like a this Chappelle weekend. Chappelle show episode. Wrap it up, Donnell. Wrap it up. Yeah, Caroline's this weekend. Yes, Thursday. Damn, Donnell. At nine thirty, Friday at seven thirty and ten. Saturday yeah. seven thirty and ten, and Sunday at seven thirty. So you can go to Carolines.com for tickets. I'm coming Friday. Come through, son. I don't know if I have a babysitter, but if I don't, I'm just gonna bring all five. Oh, kids. you can't bring yo, <laughs> yo. You the only person I know have an annual baby shower, son. <laughs> <laughs> yo, don't forget to come out to Jersey. <laughs> it's DJ Envy's annual baby shower, starting, starting Logan, everybody. <laughs> yo, Donnell you keep me again. <laughs> Caroline's this weekend. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.